In this video, I'll show you how to find the major and minor axes for an ellipse whose center is at the origin. The question reads, find the lengths of the major and minor axes and the distance from the center to focus C for the ellipse whose center is at the origin 0 and 0. The equation that we're working with is shown below, and you'll notice that the larger of these two denominators, 49 and 16, the larger of the two is underneath the y. Because of that, we know that this ellipse will be vertically longer than it is horizontally. Therefore, the major axis is vertical, and that's shown right here. What we can derive from this equation are two important things, both A and B. So our A will be represented as 49. We square root this number. We end up with an A value of plus minus 7. And just to understand what A is, that's the distance from one vertex to the center which is also known as the semi-major axis. And we can take this number and actually find the major axis by multiplying it by two. So if I multiply this number by two, I end up with my major axis, which is 14. Also from this formula, I can derive b. b squared is equal to 16, the lesser of my two numbers. Square rooting 16, I end up with b is equal to four. This will serve as my semi-minor axis. And just to understand, b is the distance from here to the center. To find the minor axis, we multiply it again by 2. That gives us our minor axis, and that is equal to 8. So we found our a value, we found our b value, and from our a and our b value, we found our major and minor axis. The last thing that they are asking for in this question is the distance from the center to the focus. The center represents the distance from the center of the ellipse to the focus. So that's the distance they are looking for. To do this, we will need to use the formula c is equal to the square root of a squared minus b squared. This will give us the distance from here to here. And it will also give us the focus. Let me demonstrate what I mean. We know what a to the power of 2 is, and that's 49. We know what b to the power of 2 is, and that's 16. 49 minus 16 gives us the square root of 33. Using our calculator, the square root of 33 is equal to roughly 5.7. 5.7. Therefore, the distance from the origin to the focus is 5.7 plus minus. We can also easily derive the coordinates of the focus. You'll have two. So focus one is zero and five decimal seven. We'll call this focus one and this focus two. Therefore, focus two has the coordinates zero and negative five decimal seven. And there you have it. That is how to find the major and minor axes for an ellipse whose center is at the origin.